you want some money real quick, I'm going to give you a crash course in getting some money with no connections in the game, no money in your pocket, no nothing. And I'm going to say it again, and I said it before. Train. To be honest, that's where the money's at, bro. If you got no connections and no money of your own, you don't got a homeboy that know a broker. You don't got none of that. Train. You want to see a six grand week? Train. You ain't got no connections. You ain't got no money. You ain't got nothing. You're going to have to train, bro. Pressure. I'm going to tell you a bunch of ways to make money in trucking, and you're not going to do none of them. You have to be able to get over adversity. You don't want to train nobody in the truck to get money real quick. We talking about your first year, see some checks. You ain't got no connections. You go over, you train, you get some money. Okay, let's say you did that. You don't want to do that. Where's the money at? <laughs> when you see a $6,000 a week and you're not ended up with a bunch of money at the end of it, you know where the money is? It's in the paperwork. The paperwork. You know that, don't you? That's where the money is. That's how they rob you. It's the paperwork. It's the paperwork. If you don't, can't count, you're not going to make no money. It's in the paperwork. If you went to a place and you're under their authority, so they cut you 20% there, you're using their trailer, so they're charging you there. You're in their trucks, so they're charging you there. They're telling you their insurance, any number they want, so they got you there. And then they're brokering the load to you, so they got you there. So it's like, dude, it's your paperwork. The money's pretty much the same. It's just you're not getting it. You're not getting the money, bro. It's the paperwork. Like he says, you need to gross 500 there to get 2500 If A. Breezy's paperwork was different, he would only have, what do I have? I have $800 in overhead. I don't have three grand anymore. It's the paperwork. I'm not running more than A. Breezy. I'm not grossing higher than A. Breezy. But the paperwork's different. Like I said, it's not a, a, a crazy conversation. Let's just call 5,000 the flat number. I get 5,000 in a week. King gets 5,000 in a week. A Breezy gets 5,000 in a week. Phil gets five grand in a week. Okay. Now the only difference in walking away of all of us is all of our paperwork is different. That's it. Phil may walk away with $4,000 out of five. A Breezy said 2,500. I may walk away with uh, uh, 39. King may walk away with 42. It's paperwork. And that's the one thing no one wants to talk about because it's not fun. Who wants to hear that? Paperwork? That isn't a little salacious. I thought you were going to say it's in specialized. No, there's specialized cats getting raped at a- ATS <laughs> with bad, with, I ain't going to say bad paperwork, with paperwork not having their own stuff together. They're not walking away with millions of dollars. I said it. It's paperwork. It's not knowing the lanes. It's not none of that alacious bullshit they sell you. It's the paperwork. Well, I don't understand. How do I get my paperwork right? Okay, I'll tell you. Have your own money. Experience in having your own money. A Breezy gets his check. Thousand comes out of his check a week. King gets his check. He bought his truck. He got, he got the money. He don't have no thousand coming out of his shit for a truck. Note. He keeping all that. All of it. Two different paperwork. A Breezy took the insurance that they gave him, and I'm not dissing A Breezy, I'm just being real, and King picked his insurance. He picked it. I mean, King looked at the insurance and seeing that number, this number, that number, this number, offers this, 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 and that. He picked this one, the best for a situation. Boom. You can't do that at a mega carrier being brand new. You take what they give you, and then they tell you what they're paying in insurance. You don't even know that's the real number. You don't even know that's the real number. They just say insurance is 250 a week. Insurance is probably 100 a month. You don't know. You have no idea. Paperwork. That's how it works. King knows where he's going to get his load from. He has a few options. See you, petty officer. He has a few options. He can get a load from here. He can get a load from that. He can get a load from his homie. He can get a load from this place he has a uh, pl- uh, he has a freaking uh, relationship with. He can get this. He can get that. So he can choose. Can't choose. Shane Mega Carrier is brokering the load from himself, right? So Shane Mega Carrier gets 100,000 loads under another entity. And then they broker the load to themselves. That's how that works. So you saying all oh, the loads are twelve hundred dollars? They're not, bro. They're not twelve hundred dollars, bro. They're not twelve hundred dollars. That load is three thousand dollars, bro. I hate to break it to you. I told you it's gonna make people mad. You don't want to hear it? You shame that carrier. They're not running loads for three for for, for twelve hundred bucks, bro. They're not. You're getting it for twelve hundred bucks, but they're not getting it for twelve hundred bucks. They have the money. And the trailers 
and the amount of numbers in trucks to get huge contracts. So they just have a list. They just have loads. And then they're brokering those loads to you. Well, to themselves, then to you. Yeah. So by the time you get it, it's $1,200. An owner op that went there with none of that on, him, on, on his paperwork, he got it for the full portion if he has the contract there. But let's say he's brokering that load from somebody. He probably got that $1,200 load for $2,300. Yeah. And the guy who has the actual contract there, he got it for the full thing, $3,000. What's the difference between them three? Paperwork. That's it. It's not a secret. It's not a secret, man. It's not, it's not that King knows how to flip the truck different than you, and he went there and know the lanes, and he know that cherries is coming out of California going down to Cincinnati, and from there he going to get scoop bucket wheat and take it. It's none of that, bro. It's none of that. That's a cat don't know what the hell he's talking about, bro. That's the truth. That's the truth. He don't know what he, if someone tell you, is he with your lanes? They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about, dog. Paperwork. I'm going to keep saying paperwork a million times so you understand it, and maybe you'll stop and look at yours. But I tell you, go to this mega carrier place. That's the start. That's starting. You don't end there. You understand? Eventually, you will move on to the other thing. You're supposed to save your money there, train, get some big bucks up, and then do what you need to do. That simple. But it's all in the paperwork. When you come on here and you listen to the scuttlebutt and you listen to you listen to the hearsay, this is bullshit. 92% of these people have no freaking idea what the hell they're talking about. They have no idea what they're talking about. This is not a merit game. The dope dealer that came in the game with some money and put it and got himself a truck in the trailer cash, he's killing you. He don't have the best merit. He ain't the best guy in the world. But he had the money, which means less people are in his pocket, which means his paperwork is different than yours. That's all that means. That's all that means. The 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 the, the freaking kid whose dad got a bunch of money and, and fronted him fifty thousand to get that Peter built, his paperwork's different than yours. He doesn't know no more about trucking than you. He just had the money. The guy who sold his house and got that truck, he just had more money than you. And that's one less hand in your pocket. Okay? So for that one less hand. In your pocket, let's say, say you didn't go to the mega carrier, you was able to get the truck without going to the mega carrier. You got it cash for some weird dope dealer or good family or inheritance reason. That's a $52,000 advantage he has to you in paperwork. You understand that? Because the people at the mega carrier are paying $1,100, $1, $1,200 a week. That's $52,000 a year. That guy who's flossing in front of you act like he knows everything, he just has the money. We don't know why he has the money. It can be different reasons. But he's seeing a thousand more than you. So if you're saying my check is twenty five hundred every week, he's saying his is thirty five hundred every week. He just sees more of the money. That's it. That's it. Now, how else can he have more money than you? Since he has his own tractor free and clear, he can pick companies that you're not even thinking of. Because really what he's picking is authorities to sign on. He's not they picking companies. When you say, what company should I go to? I know you don't know what the hell you're talking about. I don't know. What you, you don't know what you're talking about. People who know what the hell they're talking about, they're looking for who they're going to lease on to. And the next question is, how much is the percentage? How much they want? You understand that? So you went over to wherever, and they taking 32%. But let's say King don't got to do that. King can go down the county and find a guy that's only taking 10. 10. You know how much that adds up to after a year, bro? Let me get this right. King ain't got no note. So he's 52,000 up on you already. And they they taken half of what they're taking from you out of the out of the freaking uh of the authority alone. His paperwork is different. That is it. And y'all could run the same lows, and let's say for the sake of argument, y'all gross in the same amount of money. The only difference is King's keeping more of his money. That is the only there's no secret. And you see how people on here are saying. Get a certain trailer, they don't know what they're talking about. Because they're still focusing on what you're doing in trucking. They're still focusing on that. That's how you know they don't know what they're talking about. If you fuck, nah, do this, get this trailer. None of that, that shit is all bullshit. It muddies the waters. It complicates the conversation. It's the paperwork. That's all we're talking about. I don't care if you bought a reefer. I don't care if you got a, 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 a pneumatic trailer. I don't care if you're running a dry van. I don't care if you're running a step deck. I don't care if you're running a slopper hopper. I don't care what you're running. I don't care your car hauler. It's the paperwork, period. That's what it's about. And when King sit next to that guy who has his own authority, 
He's getting less than the guy with the only thing he says. I really want to go 100. I just need to take one more step. He's talking about an authority. You think these loads are $1,200 when you have your own authority truck trailer? No, bro. No. Well, I'm running cheap freight. No, you're not. No, you're not, bro. You're not running cheap freight. You're not. That is not where most of the money is at, a breezy. No, it's not. Most of the the most lump sum of money you're gonna get is oversized. Period. A pneumatic trailer can't stand next to oversized. But the reason why you don't hear nobody talking about it because it's a good old boy system. It's protected. That's where the money's at. Those guys getting super escorted and getting twenty dollars a mile. Those guys are making a bunch of money. But you, the cost to get into it is so high, a regular person can't get into it. It's the paperwork, my guy. And even if they are running those huge things down the roads and they have to move things to get it there and they're getting $15,000 for 400 miles. And, and that's not a stupid number. Now they're getting, they're moving something ridiculous and hard to move and all that stuff. You got to know their paperwork because most of those used dudes you see driving by their company. They don't own that crap. They don't own that crap. Another company owns it. Those, those trucks with the 16 axles and the, Five axles on the actual tractor and 700 horsepower. You can't buy that mess. That stuff is like three, four hundred thousand dollars. Then you got to have a bond that none of y'all can get. You got to be bonded and all of that. And if I say you got all of that, you would have to be able to have a line in on the lows. And they, any person who knows about oversized, that's a good old boy system. You can't just walk into it. So now comes the next fold of it after paperwork. The next one you're going to, I should wait a minute before I say the next photo, how to get money in this game. Should I wait on it, bro? Because I'm going to tell you a term that you don't want to hear, but it's true. Paperwork. But you know what, you know what the biggest one is? You want to know the biggest secret to making money in, in this, in this field? You want to know the biggest secret to, you, you want to make you 6,000, 12,000? You know how you do that? Make it 12, fuck it, make it 15. You know how you do that? It's a simple term. It ain't your truck. It ain't knowing how to run a lane. It ain't your division. It's none of that crap. It's not a long nose, not a snub nose. It's not knowing how to do your fuel. That's poor people shit. Only poor people worry about their fuel. It's none of that. It's not being in a certain division. It's this simple. You double that 6,000 after your paperwork, it's who you know. I'm going to say it again because I don't think they heard me. It's who you know. People apply it all the time, eh, Breezy? You just don't know them. There's two millionaires in here talking to you right now. You don't even know. People apply it. You got to get off the beach and get next to people who know what they're doing. Who you know there's a guy sitting in this live right now that has a five hundred thousand dollar driving position waiting for you you're taught he's in here and you don't even know that because you don't know him and i'm looking right at him it's who you know i'm not making no money you don't know nobody you don't know nobody that's why i know you thought it was gonna be some ball Plan and walk down with weeds and I'm taking over trucking and you know she walks in high heels and she comes down and there's like this person who's filming them and and all this type of crap and you think if I know that per dude it, you're not gonna get it by paying nobody no shit on Instagram all that shit is a scam every one of them there's not one that isn't a scam all that's a scam you think you can go to Instagram and learn it you can't you can't bro they're scamming you out your money they're not gonna tell you shit they're not gonna tell you it's who you know it's who you know bro and the truth is, you're a rookie, and you don't know nobody. So you ain't supposed to be making $15,000 a week, period. If you get your ass off Instagram, looking at hot, sweaty butt cheeks, and you get out here and be in these lives and, and connect with some of these people, you're talking next to big money cats right now, and you don't know it. You don't know. You have no idea. You don't know big money cats are in my life, bro. There's two millionaire guys in here right now talking and they're black you can't even use the race card oh it's because i'm black no no that's not it you're jigabooing that's why you're sugar cooning and they don't mess with coons so they watching you say dumb shit and they're just not responding to you
You're right next to him and, and right next to the plug and don't know it. Because you don't know him. You think I you think you think y'all call me broke all the time, but you think I got my two trucks off not knowing somebody? Shh. Y'all don't be understanding. Y'all don't be understanding. But y'all will still think it's a place I sign up to. It's not. I'm I know, Phil. I know. I mean I need to stop. Forget about it, so you know. I need to stop. My people telling me to stop, bro. Should I stop, y'all? Yeah, me. I'm giving up way too much drip. I know I am, but I'm just trying to tell the truth, bro. I'm trying to tell the truth. That's it. I know y'all don't know my situation because I don't tell y'all nothing, and I'm not going to to prove a point to you. But what I'm trying to tell you, it has nothing to do with your driving ability. It has nothing to do with what division you're in, barely. Because you can be in the most lucrative division and your paperwork be crappy and you ain't whole. You're making the money. You're just not getting it. That's the part you got to understand. You're making the money. You're just not getting it. 